welcome back to our new video so in this video we are going to see how we set up the angular project okay so by means when we do the setup it's just the folder structure what we have to create uh, like all the reusable components should be in a particular folder directives or pipes we create in a particular folder services should be in a particular folder okay so let's just see so in app folder we can create one folder as in core okay so in core folder, we can keep all our services, constant file, interfaces and classes, which we are going to need. Okay. So services is one folder. Then inside that constant is another folder. Then classes. Is another folder then sometimes we create interface also so for that we can have another folder okay so in core folder we can have this much of services then one more uh, like guards we normally create so in core only we can create one folder to store to keep our guard okay so in core folder you can see class constant guards interface and service folders we can create then Again, in app folder, we can have a shared folder. Okay. So in shared folder, we can keep in shared folder, what we can see, like the things which are going to be used by multiple components. Okay. So we can keep reusable component over here. So let's make reusable components as one folder then pipe is also a thing which will be reusable and directives if we are going to create some directives okay so in shared we are going to store all the reusable things means these are the things which we are going to use over the multiple component okay now in app folder again we can have one folder that is pages so pages is a thing where we are going to create components which will be connected to our routes okay so as you are, we have already seen here we will have the components which are not connected to our routes means these are reusable component but in pages folder we are going to create components which will be connected to any particular route okay then again in the let's say we have an application where we have admin employee Again, we have different users, so we can create a folder just to separate them. Let's say admin. So in admin folder, we can create all the component related to admin. Again, let's say employee. So here we can create all the component related to that uh, particular module. Okay. So this folder structure you can create. Okay. Now, let me just create one component. ng generate component add m add user okay so in admin folder i'm creating one component that is add user okay so add user component is created like that in employee also i will create one more component ng generate component amp list okay so here we will have the spelling mistake is there Okay, again in admin, we will create one more component. ng generate component add or role list. Roles component we will create in admin. So in admin com admin folder, we will have two components that is add user and roles. In employee folder, we have employee list. Let's create one more. ng generate component salary okay so we are just creating folder just to separate out the code like all the component related to admin will we will go into this admin folder all the component related to the employee will go into this employee folder okay now creating service so in service also again you can create folders so just like that 
in pages we have created let's say we have two major module that is admin and the employee so we can create two service only so that will again we are creating folder second folder will be employee okay so in employee we can create our service to create the service we have the command ng generate s and emp okay to so for the service i'm just giving the name emp then on admin also we can create the service that will be admin ng generate service admin As you can see, okay, we have created employee and employee service in, let me move this. Yes, move it. Okay, so in admin folder, we have the admin service and in employee folder, we have the employee service. Okay, now, next thing is like import statements. So we have just, for now, we have just created the basic folder structure. Okay, in core, uh, once again, I will repeat, in core folder, we have classes, constant, guards, interface and services. In services, again, we have created admin and the employee folder. In that, we have created respective service. Now, in pages, pages folder will be responsible to hold the components which will be connected to the routes. Okay, then shared folder. Here, all the reusable things will be there, whether it may be directives, pipes or the reusable component. Okay, then in app module, what things we need to do? So in imports, first thing is like forms module because we are going to use the ng model. So to use the ng model, we need the forms module. Then HTTP client module. So for that, we need to add the import. So let me just add that. It will be from common slash HTTP. Here it will go HTTP client module. Okay. So import section is responsible to load all the modules. If you are going to use reactive form module, so you should have, you should have to add reactive form module. Why oh, it is not coming? Let's just add it here. Reactive forms module. Then we have to add this over here. So these are the basic imports we need in the app module. Once this is the initial stage because we this should not be the this is not the repetitive process. We, if we do it on the start of the project, that's it. You don't have to again open the app module. Okay. So this is this part is done. Then in service, let's just see employee service. So here we have to create functions. Let's say get all employee opening closing curly bracket now let me show you the let's see that uh, placeholder uh, placeholder mock services okay so here you can say json placeholder user services there okay so if we hit this api we get this so let's try to create a function for this Instead of get employee, it will be get all users. Now this function is going to return data. Let me just first write return. First, before this, we have to create the object of HTTP client. So it will be private colon HTTP client. Okay. Then here, this dot HTTP dot get. This is a get method. So we have to use the get function then we have to provide the url okay so now if you see on the gate what it is returning it is returning data type of observable so we can just provide the return type to this function observable any of array that's it now same thing we have to add over here also after get we are just specifying like we are going to get the data of any but array okay now this is a service function you should create you should create like this function then colon then data type okay now if you see this is the static data right so it should always come from the constant file so we have created a constant folder so let's create a file over there constant.ts 
and in constant dot ts we will say export then we have constant constant is equal to curly bracket okay here we will say api and point it will be again object all user and this static endpoint the url should be in the constant file okay now instead of this we can remove this and we will get that from the constant dot api endpoint dot all user now we haven't done anything static it is the value url is coming from our constant file okay so this is how you should use now next point is any we know that we are going to get the data of type this right so let's say we just need these three properties so we can create a um, convert json to ts one site is there which allows us to convert json to ts object let me just add a curly bracket generate typescript so you can see we have got this now in interface we can create a file let's say user.ts everything will be ts only export i user since we are creating interface we have to write interface i user list okay and then we have to put it over here now so we have for just example i'm create uh, suggesting like oh, if we expect four properties so we should create all the four properties whatever the properties we are going to get from the api that interface you can create like this according to their basic type now instead of any we should use our interface name now we need to add the import also now this become static strongly type our function okay so this is how you should use the constant file then interface like the classes also okay so this is everything related to your basic project creation this is this project is not lazy loaded project just the normal preloading strategy we are going with so this should be your folder structure and the basic things which you can create okay hope you have liked the video in next video i will try to cover the uh, lazy loading setup that is again same thing but it will have the lazy loaded module okay till then please do like and subscribe my videos thank you